Hi everybody, it's Andrea, aka Violet Kitty 411 and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to everybody who has been engaging with comments, likes, and subscribing. You know I do appreciate it so much as we enjoy the best game in the Sims franchise together, The Sims 2. So we are back in the Get Alive side of Old Town and we're not going to do a build today. I'm actually just going to introduce you to all of the community builds that I have done for this project since now I am officially done with building the community lots. So let's get on with it. So our hostess for this experience is going to be Mimi Landgrab, who is currently living in the Reality Bites that Yvette renovated with all of the remaining roomies. Since Bon Voyage, my favorite method of traveling is actually walking, but Mimi would like to become best friends with Yvette. And you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. We will meet Yvette there. And now we will choose Custer's Market. Come on down to the Old Farmer's Market, pick up some seeds for your vegetable garden, or buy and seal the finest bounty Mother Earth has to offer. Now it is technically summer, but I just changed it, so I guess it takes a little while for the temperature to kick back in to an appropriate, because right now she's wearing her winters. So here's Custer's Market. And Mimi is getting out with Yvette. Let's go ahead and give Yvette a back rub. Which should seal our friendship deal. Wonderful. And actually, you know what? I would like you to give her a gift of the things she accidentally left behind. There we go. Thanks for the worthless gift. It's got great value, Yvette. So I built the building as a little Cape Cod. So they can't actually buy seeds because you buy seeds on the garden plot as opposed to downtown. But we do have a little shop where they can buy some pets. They've got some vending machines. Yeah, just some small things. And over here we have a little area where Mimi can grill because Mimi's really good at grilling. We've got a parrot to play with. Let's go look over here. We've got a little area to do some gardening, some trees, and the porta potty. And now on to the next place, Miss Mimi. Now we'll go to Lake Barrett. The Bull Hall is rumored to be a favorite old town hangout of legendary jazz musicians. The upstairs cafe offers a beautiful view of the lake located at 74 Maple Street. Now remember when I built these, I'm not trying to be exactly identical. It's supposed to be, have a flavor of it. So this is Lake Barrett. Why don't you join Armando with a game of pool? There's Brad and Tiffany. Or actually, that's Rod Lang. Okay. And we've got a pinball machine, because Mimi does like a good game of pinball. All right, a little bit congested. That's fine. Oh, she's going to go... Oh, she's taking the scenic route. Okay, that's cool. She's like, problem solved. Problem solved. Not a problem at all. Here at Lake Barrett, they are able to stay for an extended period of time. We've got a shower to take. Which she does need because she's stinky. So there's toilet shower stalls both upstairs and downstairs and why don't you go upstairs and get a little bit of a coffee yeah that routing didn't work so great we'll up that coffee's a big thing in unleashed so i did a lot of it nice coffee met someone new that's good for you 
comfort and energy are going up. Bladder's going down. That's cool. Now out on the back balcony, she can enjoy the view of the lake. And this was really meant to be a place where they can watch the Mardi Gras parades going by because remember, Old Town is very New Orleans themed. There is also a bar. Okay, can't give her a drink probably because of that rose there. I yeah yeah. Why don't you practice a little bit of piano, Miss Mimi? And you're terrible at it. That's fine. Of course, there is a nice area to do a little bit of fishing or just maybe sit and enjoy nature while amongst it. Okay, Mimi, let's go somewhere else. And next on the list is MacArthur Square for a quiet stroll outdoors or a cup of coffee with the neighbors. Historic MacArthur Square is a favorite retreat for SimCity Cultural Elite located at 73 Elm Street. And we can actually see it from here. It's right over here. So MacArthur Square is a park, but it's a very, very stylish park. There are two parks in this project. Enjoy a little bit of a sit. Why don't you have a coffee? We're all about the coffee here, Mimi. It'll help keep us awake. And then of course we'll have to pee again. Now the only building here is actually the restroom. So let's go ahead and make use of it because we need to toilet and shower. We got ourselves some comfort and some cleanliness. And Mimi is totally the sort that would add soap to a fountain. Love that for you. There is also, of course, a playground. And yes, I did include things for toddlers. I have a mod that allows toddlers to go downtown. So yeah, that same mod also allows for pets to go downtown, which makes it more like Unleashed because of course pets would travel with you. Over here across the footbridge, we have a little place to have a nice little wedding ceremony and we have a chess area. Now there is a place to get a barbecue, but if you got a lot of money, you can just have a buffet. Why don't you have some turkey? Next up is Old Town Quarter for a refined cafe and shopping experience. Bring your Sims to the Old Town Quarter, known for its eclectic charm, architecture, and ambiance. So Old Town Quarter is just across the street from MacArthur Square, but of course we have to take a taxi to get there. That's not a problem. Now remember the goal is to be reminiscent, not identical. So I gave it the mansard roofs and the floor plan is not identical by any stretch of the imagination. And I didn't point this out at MacArthur Square, but I'm very pleased with what I created to give the sense of the wrought iron arches that are all over. And do say hello to Claire because you know, she's everybody's favorite. And here's Dudley cheating at that's chess that's with May. Let's get ourselves another coffee just for yourself. Coffee keeps us going. Behind the outdoor cafe, there is a game room. And Mimi wanted to buy some jewelry, so there we go. But I did make put a lot of masks and candles around, so it has the feel even though there's no Miss Lucille. Too bad I can't make a witch hang out. <laughs> you know, I could make a Miss Lucille and have her be the owner of this lot. That bears thinking. Let me know if you think I should. In the third building, we have a library downstairs. And Mimi has no email, that's fine. Now above the arcade, there is a place to play pool. So, you know, more sophisticated games. Not that Mimi's sophisticated, but yeah. There's also a little area where the garden party holds its monthly meetings. 
and we tried to play do some karaoke with Barbara but Barbara says I have no intention of making it a fool of myself with you don't take it too personal though I've never seen that but then again I've never had an unskilled sim try to do it let's see if we can get a drink from this bar I couldn't get the last one Toby's rocking it good job Toby and apparently these lamps do not prevent him from making drinks okay that's great now across the hall above the library is a little mm, sleeping quarters of course we can't sleep on community lots without a mod since Bon Voyage was added but it does have a full kitchen two full luxury baths and you know romantic pursuits Now we're at Pet Paradise. Bring the whole family to Old Town's fully featured pet adoption center where you can find that special new family member, hire the local pet trainer, and fulfill your pet's every needs. Of course, you can't hire the pet trainer here. That would be nice. And she just made a beeline for the coffee all by herself. I didn't have to tell her to do that. So this lot is actually smaller than its Sims 1 self just because I found it unwieldy. But we have a little cafe over here. I just cheated her energy, but we're going to take care of everything else. The first building behind the cafe is the pet store where we can buy birds, all things that we need for pets including things that we find in Sims Life Stories, or I should say Sims Pet Stories. So this is where we go for everything we need for pets. It's got a great environment score. She can look at that. And now she's feeling the need to let her bladder empty out, which is good for you. Hi, Pamela. And don't forget to wash your hands because you won't do that naturally. Because, yeah, you're a slob. Hi, Claire. Oh, my. Hello, Claire. And let's see. You want to talk? We can do that. How about just chat? Because hopefully you won't alienate her because, yeah, you're terrible. The small central building is ideally where the pet trainer would hang out. And we've got some little dogs to play with. And behind that is an area where the dogs would run. Now, in the largest building, we do have a place where we can get a hot dog, a hamburger, or a gyro. Love that for her. Delicious. Wonderful. Fully functional bowling lane as well. And let's watch her do a really... Oh my gosh, how'd you get almost, well, let's see, are you going to pick up the spare? Nope. Good try, though. Next, we're going to check out Sim Central Park, Old Town's favorite sunny gathering spot all year round. The Sim City Kennel Club hosts a local pet show here. Enjoy the spectacle or make your very own pet into a champion at 58 Ingleside Drive. Mimi's hygiene is low, but there's not a whole lot I can do about that over here other than have her wash hands because I did not include a shower either here or at the last lot. That's fine. They don't always need to be able to shower. But she's playing chess and cheating because that's what she does. Now the area that was the pet show, I've turned into the chess area as well as barbecue because it's not like we need to use it for the chess show. And for Number Jack's Actonaut, this is my Melissa Roomies, also known as Melissa Billingsley in my game. It does have a fully functional playground as well as a basketball court and swimming pool. Now just wash those hands, Mimi. For Eats here, we have vending machines as well as the grill. And for the last stop of the 
tour we're going to visit my personal favorite lot in unleashed which is the gothic quarter trendy cafes and mysterious shops are the highlight of this offbeat corner of old town located at 75 maple street so it always seems to me that you should only visit gothic quarter at night just to help help increase the creepiness Gothic Quarter has a bar as well as a jazz place, and oh my gosh, you left a mess. That's great. And I'll have to change the microphone because she can't use it like that. That's too bad. She can use the violin, and she should be able to also use the piano. Perfect. Got a couple TVs here. That's awesome. Gain a skill point. That's not going to happen. Easy to meet people here, though, and... It's a great little bar. As the name indicates, it's gothic, so I used a lot of stuff from the Teen Goth to decorate. Our food options at the Gothic Quarter are Serve Yourself, the Full Kitchen. Good job. And why don't you lick that plate clean, Miss Mimi? Wonderful. You can enjoy a nice game of chess on the balcony overlooking the graveyard. There are sleeping quarters here. Of course, sleeping quarters aren't useful if you don't have a mod, but you can woohoo. Now for the graveyard, I chose as many pieces that looked like they could be viewed as monuments as possible. And if you want to unalive Sims to fill the grave out with actual graves, that's at your discretion. I didn't want to do it for file size purpose. And since Mimi is completely irreverent, she would even put soap in the graveyard fountain. That's very rude of you. And now she's going to do what she does, which is sit and probably lounge lazily. But this is mostly just a social place. It's not a shop like it is in TS1. I didn't feel I needed two shops. This is, again, just a social place. Let's actually light a fire and watch some TV. Uh -huh. Or maybe you should play some games. There we go. All right, let's head back home. And now she's back at Reality Bites with all of her buddies. Getting a bubble bath in because seems like a good idea let's also relieve that bladder oh you got to go to work well don't forget to comment like and subscribe i will see you soon in the pixelated world and that's all i have to say vk out